capsule as the proximal convoluted tubule. And then if you follow it along, it does this looping thing. So this is a loop of Henley. Let's see here. There's another loop of Henley. There's another one. There's another one. So those little loops that go down towards the medulla are loops of Henley. And if you trace it, that's a descending arm or limb. And there's the ascending arm. Try not tag on the test, like descending, ascending. Not in, probably not in the lab. Uh, but in lecture, you need to know the difference between those two, and they have slightly different functions. So then if you, so there it goes down into the, that's closer towards the medulla, so that's descending, and that's ascending, coming back up, so they color-coded it a little different, so you can kind of see it. So that kind of fleshy pink thing is ascending, and then it starts to do this bendy funny thing again. So that's the distal convoluted tubule. And then it leads to, these things are the collecting ducts. So the collecting ducts, I don't know if it says collecting tubule as well, or just say collecting duct. Collecting tubule. Yeah. And papillary duct. Yeah. So the papillary duct is just essentially at the very end here. Okay. Does that kind of make sense? Whereas on this side, they're just showing the blood vessels. So here's arcuate, arterial. These are the interlobular, or what do they call it, the radiate cortical something or other. That was the, the book. It's kind of a new term on this edition. They're saying calling it that. But your lab book, I think, still calls it the um, interlobular. And then each of these little balls that are coming off there are the glomeruli. So this is a blow-up of a glomerulus in the inside and the Bowman's capsule on the outside. So the Bowman's capsule on the outside is what you're seeing right here. See the color coding there? They use that like magenta or whatever that color is. That's the Bowman's capsule. The, the blood vessel that's on the inside, the, um, the glomerulus, is the red thing. So the, the one that leads into it, the blood vessel that goes in, is a little fatter. That's the afferent arteriole. And the one that comes out is the efferent arteriole. And these are all the glomerular capillaries. Probably not going to be tagged on the test, but these are actually the podocytes. Or if you remember, I said the podocytes are the cells that actually kind of wrap around the capillaries and try to keep some, like, blood cells from leaking out into filtrate. So that's it. What's that? The tubular capillaries. Okay. These, this netting stuff that looks kind of like a little net, fishnet there, that's the peritubular capillaries. You can't see it the way they put it here, but it actually goes over this stuff. So imagine all this netting is around the tubules, hence the name peritubular capillaries. On this model, they just show it off to the side, but it covers all so the these tubes. Straight red ones would be the vasa recta. The straight red, those straight ones down here are the vasa recta. Okay. So they they look on this model. I really like the way they do it. They do it kind of straight like this. The other model shows them going kind of at right angles to that, which is where so most of the just only the show. bottom. Yeah. Only the bottom one. The ones that are straight are the vasa recta. So okay. if they tag it down here and say, what's the name for these blood vessels? Vasa meaning vein recta. Even though they're actually some of them are arteries as well. And then these ones up here, that's okay. the peritubular capillaries. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we good 